All right. We are live. Welcome to this live stream. If you're watching from YouTube, it is great to have you. I appreciate you joining in today for this live stream. That is a recording because this is directly from TikTok. Um, so yeah, let's put on some worship instrumental. Praise God. We're going to read uh, the second chapter in the book of Matthew today. And so, yeah, stay for that if you want to stay for some Bible reading. And anyway, welcome to those who have joined from TikTok. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys joining in tonight. Um, yeah, we're going to pray in a moment and get started with the Word of God. Guys, I've been really busy today, so I apologize for being late again to the live. Um, definitely not proud of it, but um, yeah, because I'm not going to be too long on the live tonight. We have... Uh, unfortunately, a bit of a limited time tonight because of uh, tomorrow morning. I've got to wake up at 6 a.m. So I'm only going to be live for about, I would say, 45 minutes tonight, guys. Um, nonetheless, preaching real to welcome to the live. I see your videos like almost every day, pretty much every day. You do post quite often, and it's great to see what you're doing for the Lord, preaching real to a uh, real to really. Um, admire your work and glory to god for what you're doing may god bless you ai animation thanks for the rose um it's my older brother birthday tomorrow wow that's uh pretty close happy birthday for him tomorrow hope he has a great one uh welcome to those who recently just joined in begs welcome to the love just still on this mark Robin as well, I see you in the live, thanks for the likes Robin, and guys, yeah, I do appreciate you tapping the screen, if you want to bring in more people to hear the word of God tonight, then do tap the screen, bring in the likes, and uh, praise God, we're going to do Matthew chapter 2 tonight, guys, alright, so, yeah, Francesca, good evening, welcome, welcome, how was your day, Biggs, thank you for sharing the live as well, It was very good, thanks. Oh, that's awesome, Begs. That's great. I'm glad. Yeah. Praise God. So, like I said, guys, for those who haven't heard, unfortunately, we're going to have a limited time tonight. I'm going to only be live for about 45 minutes. And uh, we're going to uh, head out at 9.30 around because I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is a lot earlier than i usually do and i uh, got got some things i still want to do later on tonight as well um anyway i finally got my answer i was looking for from god today really begs that is amazing do share do share early morning tea time welcome lumkele yes so 8 a.m tea time so it's not too early of a tea time compared to what it could be but yeah definitely a nice tea, a tea time uh, and then yeah I'm going to be taking some videos tomorrow, of course, on the course. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, Lunkele, I hope you're doing good, man. I hope you had a great day. And wow, guys, you got already over a thousand likes. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Thanks for the likes. Um, yeah, it's just in an effort to bring in people to hear the word of God tonight, guys. Um, for Matthew chapter 2 and, of course, for everything else we do on this live with regards to praying, uh, discussions, and Q and A's and all that. Um, yeah, I get up every morning at five oh six to spend time with God. That is that is amazing, Biggs. I admire that, and I'm borderline jealous of you for that. Not that I am at all, but that is amazing. I'd actually like to eventually get to a point where I'm waking up at around that time, as you say, to spend time with the Lord. That is that sounds amazing if you can actually do that. Um, but my sleep schedule has been unfortunately way out of line. Um, Jackie, I see you in the live. Welcome to the live tonight, Jackie, and everyone else joining in. Uh, guys, do give me some feedback. Is the live um, lagging at all? If it is, just let me know. Um, it's kind of like sitting at an unstable stage right now. It's telling me, but it should be all right, I guess. Um, hello, Jackie. I hope you're doing great today. Uh, today. 
I almost said tonight because yeah, it's it's night time in South Africa, but I know it's like still the morning for you, Jackie. My answer from God was I got to keep the joy in my heart. Okay, that is awesome. Yes, and that's also a realization that Satan is a liar because Satan is obviously wanting you to believe that you cannot live with the joy of the Lord. But in fact, you can. Amen. Awesome. Thank you, Francesca. Chad, Chad, welcome to the live, brother. Thank you for joining in. And I see you sent uh, a couple uh, more notes on the WhatsApp. So I'm going to get to those later on but thank you chad thank you thank you um for saying that as well sila yes the devil is a lie in fact jesus says the devil is the father of lies very true seems like it's very bright tonight guys i'm gonna drop the brightness down maybe a few notches um or maybe my screen brightness is just way too high um We're not going to put it off. <laughs> um, yeah. Different colors. Sorry, guys. I'm messing around a bit now. But uh, we'll just keep it like that. Okay. Let me pray for you guys. Let me pray over the Bible reading. And let us pray together, guys. Let us join together in prayer as we pray. And then soon after, we will uh, get into the Bible reading. So without further ado, let's pray, guys. And I'm... I'm going to um, reply to the messages that I missed in a moment. Let's first open up in prayer. Thank you for the rose there, by the way, Sila. Dear Heavenly Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to have your way on this live stream tonight, that your word will go into our hearts to bring forth wisdom and understanding holy spirit i know it is from you that we receive this understanding of your word so thank you holy spirit for wisdom thank you for insight thank you for new ideas as we uh, learn more from your word father god that we become more and more doers of your word lord as we also learn your fear how to fear you, Father God. The reverent fear that we get to have for you, Father God. I pray that you teach that to us, Father God. And I thank you, Lord, for every person watching that. You would just bless them, Lord. Bless them with what they need. Bring comfort to their heart. Bring clarity, the, uh, clarity to their heart, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I just pray against any fear, any confusion, I command all all fear and confusion to leave this live stream to leave the people watching this tonight in jesus name and thank you lord that this is a live stream dedicated for your glory so we ask you holy spirit to have your way we welcome you holy spirit into this place that you would fill this place with your presence as we spend time with you tonight thank you jesus for your presence in this love and we give you, Father God, all the glory, praise, and honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, guys. God is amazing. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Drago. Glory to God for this, Mark. It was blessed to me by God. Amen. Because I have a new page in my faith with God that is going to turn sooner after my birthday. Awesome, Biggs. May God bless you with that. When is your birthday, Biggs? When is your birthday? I don't know about that. Sorry. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Charlene, welcome to the live. I see your amens in the chat, guys. Glory to God. That's awesome to see you guys agreeing with the prayer. And um, yeah, we're going to dive into God's word right now, guys. As we read the second chapter in the book of Matthew, I believe my uh, ring light tripod thing is unfortunately a bit uh, not too sturdy. So I may move over to another tripod. Thank you for that heart me gift, Charlene. I appreciate that. I just thought about it now. I have actually another tripod I can use this ring light for. But the only problem is I'd have to bring the table out quite much further back um uh 
or should I say towards me. So yeah, anyway. Um, Philly, welcome to love. Yes, do camp here and chill for a little while. We're going to read Matthew chapter 2 in a moment. Birthday's on the 27th of October. That's coming up pretty soon, Begs. That's amazing. Yes, good evening, Charlene. I see you. I hope you, well, I hope you had a great day, Charlene. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Sorry, I'm going to just conveniently switch the comments off right now, guys. Sorry about that, but we're going to focus on the Word of God right now without any distractions. That's the reason why we put the comments off. And then we are going to read. Let us read tonight, guys. Matthew 2 from the New King James Version. Praise Jesus. Let's get to it, guys, in a moment. Let's just have a sip of water. Oops. Seems like I'm missing some water here. That's fine. All right. Matthew chapter 2. Let's pray. Let me just put this over there. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born? born king of the Jews for we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him when Herod the king heard this he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him and when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born so they, uh, so they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, brethren, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them, what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Sorry guys, my tripod, unfortunately for the ring light, is very wonky. It's been it dropped it fell so it's kind of like shaking now anyway let's continue on to verse 12 then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to herod they departed for their own country another way now this is also a great example and a great uh, thing to know and learn as we read that god does speak to us through our dreams many many times he will so they, Mary and Joseph, were divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod. They departed for their own country another way. So sometimes there's something that we don't know. And God wants to prevent something terrible happening to us. So He will warn us. It could be through a dream. It could be through a vision. And He will show us the way. Thanks for the uh, roses there. I appreciate that. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and he sent forth and put to death all 
the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts, all its districts, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, in Ramah, sorry, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted, because they are no more. Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the young child's life are dead. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that uh, Archelaus, Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets he shall be called a Nazarene amen I'm also just reminded here that you know God already pretty much predestined where we are to live where we are to grow up how we are to grow up and who our parents uh, are to be really so um, I believe that there's so much uh, intricacy if that's the right word in our purpose, in our destiny that uh, God lays out before the beginning of time. Amen. Promi, Roxy, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for your love and support, Promi. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for the gifts. You are so kind. All right, guys, I'm going to put the comments back on right now. So if you guys have any prayer requests, if you have any questions put it in the chat thank you promi i appreciate that much love to you promi thank you for the support um yeah guys so praise god that is bible reading for this evening actually not a very long chapter either it was only 23 verses but we're gonna continue day by day night by night we're gonna read one chapter per night wow promi you are so special thank you so much for that Amazing hand hearts, Promi. You didn't. Ha you don't have to do this, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hey, Kiara, welcome to the live. Thank you for joining in. Suri, also welcome to you. There's a very loud shimmering noise against the mic. Is that so, Charlene? Thanks for letting me know. Is that the same for you guys? Do let me know. Promi, you are being such an angel to me tonight. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts from me uh is it better now guys sorry for the bad quality in the noise uh wow probably with the roses with the finger heart again god bless you guys show love to some show some love to promi roxy guys um it's very irritating um is it is it back now guys is the sound better yeah sorry about that guys i don't know what the problem is i may have to just check it out and see maybe um the connection is better with the other cable maybe i can use the other cable use this trs to trs and see if it works maybe a little better So let's see if it works a bit better now, guys. I want to uh, get some feedback. Um, and if it's still making a, a bad noise, then do let me know. Then I will just um, stop using the mic. So I'm going to re-plug this in. Okay, guys, it's plugged in, but I don't know if you're still getting a bad reception with the noise just let me know guys if it's like
Sorry guys for the delay on that. Is the sound better? Is it better now? Okay, Charlene says it's good. Smiley says it's better. Thanks for that. Okay, let's pray for Dylan, guys. He's got a prayer request. He's asking for prayer for a job. Lord, we thank you for Dylan. We just pray, Lord, in Jesus' name for a supernatural miracle, a breakthrough in his life that, Lord, you will bring to Dylan the right job, Father God, in Jesus' name and in your timing according to your will. Lord, if it's your will, let it be done that he will be blessed with the most amazing job that will not only pay well, Lord, but a job that he will, in fact, enjoy and be good at, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, Dylan, don't, um, don't limit God, okay? Um, you know, God can give you a job better than, than you expect, actually. So, um, definitely keep your faith up there. Don't limit God. Pray and, and, and keep praying. And God will show you the right way. He will give you the job. For example, when I was trusting God for a new mark, I asked God for a mark, but it was just a small, cheap mark for a few hundred or 400 and something rand or whatever. And, uh, and God instantly told me not to pray for that mark, but rather, rather ask Him for another one, uh, a better mark. And this mark system right now that I'm using um, to connect this mark together, the Rode Wireless Me, is what I specifically had in mind to ask God for. It's something I really thought would be great for me for content creation. So I prayed and I asked God more specifically for this Rode Wireless Me, which was a slightly more expensive mark because God uh, was teaching me to not limit Him. And uh, with that uh, prayer in place, I prayed and God blessed me with this a Rode Wireless Me mark system in a way I didn't expect, which is amazing. So yeah, it's bad again, was better before. Is the sound still bad now? Uh, I need, it's gone fuzzy again. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Um, you know what happens? Let me just unplug this. So guys, yeah, the sound's going to be a lot better, but a lot worse at the same time. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah i think there is a problem with sometimes these cables that you buy sorry my thing's very rocky sometimes these cables that you buy um or that come with the product sometimes they do get a bit uh worn out i guess and i think maybe that might be the issue i suppose there might be a better way to connect because this system does also have a USB-C connection that's supposed to connect to use for audio but I haven't tested that out really I haven't uh, figured that out just yet because it didn't work that way it only works with the AUX for me so um, hopefully we can resolve this issue for future live streams but anyway thanks for letting me know um, Eliska welcome to the live thanks for the Hot me and thanks for the roses there. And I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing, Eliska? Okay, thanks for the feedback, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, that's good, Bex. Thanks for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn this off and then we can um ads, guys, ads. So yeah, but these are fantastic. These are really amazing when making videos. And also this one, this directional mic um, is also very good for making videos. Obviously, unfortunately, they work really well for live streams, but they don't or they, they're not made for live streams really. So there are other mics that are made more for live streams, but I always have used this mic for live streams when I can, and it has always worked well, but I guess it's this cable system is not the best setup for that. So we'll, we'll resolve the issue and figure out a better way to to um, connect the marks, guys, um, or some, some other way to get better, a better a system set up. But we'll sort it out, don't worry. Um, not that it's a major issue, this is perfectly fine, this works 
pretty well just using the onboard mic on the on the phone so it's really not a major issue at all um, really not doing well today almost ended it tonight that is not nice to hear Eliska uh, can I pray for you though Eliska Yes, we need to repent and live for Jesus, of course. He is coming soon. We don't know exactly when. Um, but yes, but guys, let's just pray for Eliska, guys. All right. Heavenly Father, God, we just pray and speak over Eliska tonight. Your truth or the fact that you have a plan for Eliska's life, Lord, and that you love Eliska, Lord. I just pray that your love will be evident in her life. And I pray, Lord, that you would bring Eliska up and out of any bit of darkness that she may have found herself in recently. And I come against you, Satan. I command you to flee from Eliska's side. Leave her alone, for you don't have the right to claim her soul. Eliska belongs to God. And to God she will go. In Jesus' name. We speak life. We plead the blood of Jesus over Eliska. And we thank you, Father God, for Eliska's life that is in your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Let me just drop this down lower. Get up a bit closer. There it is. Much better. Amen. Let God's will be done. Hey, Lisa, how are you? And well, thank you. Amen. Praise God, guys. Hi, Jordan. Hello, brothers and sisters. I uh, hope God has kept you well. Welcome, Maureen. Welcome to the live. I don't have a ventilation system on no it's actually just my pc it makes quite a noise because if i turn my pc off you will see the difference um actually what i can do is i'm just going to turn the pc off there's not going to be any worship instrumental and then you'll probably be able to even hear me more clearly so now just turn my pc off and now the fans aren't spinning and that might be a lot better so what do you guys think? There's just no worship instrumental. That's all I really use the PC for. Besides Bible reading, I also read the Bible on um, the chat. Gabriel, uh, okay, Gabe asks, are oh, gays welcome to? You are welcome to this live, whether you're gay or not. Absolutely. Of course, you know, I'm here to definitely just speak the word of God over people's lives. I'm here to guide people to the truth through the word of God. So I definitely am here to remain truthful in everything I say and do. But you are welcome to this live. And in fact, I encourage you to join this live if you don't believe in God or if perhaps, uh, you know, you're not uh, living, completely living for God because this is a great place to not only increase in your knowledge of the word of God, not only to be blessed, uh, by receiving from the word of God, but to also um, be changed. You know, perhaps there are people that don't know who God is. This is also a great place to be. Um, God bless you, Lisa. Welcome to this love. Yeah, thank you for that. Amen. So, yeah, guys, of course, you know what the Bible says about homosexuality. I don't want to get into that right now in too much of the depth of why that is, but it definitely, um, you know, it definitely is not up to us to judge. Of course, as Christians, we don't judge. We uh, love on each other, but we also have to exhort each other and encourage each other um, in the right way. Do you have any new prayer requests, Jordan? Lisa, thank you for that. Just pray against any confusion that Satan might be uh, perhaps... Uh, attacking me with so yeah just pray against any bit of confusion really appreciate that god loves every uh anyone right 
he wouldn't mind about who loves who. Well, it doesn't really work like that because yes, God loves us, but that doesn't give us the right to go ahead and do what we want to do. God's love for us is to show us that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. That is the greatest love ever. No one can have a greater love than for a man to lay down his life for his friends. So uh, definitely, uh, you know, um, we, we, we cannot justify any sort of sin by uh, saying that the love of God is so great, the, the grace of God is so amazing that we can, you know, justify this sin and that sin and do this and do that. So it's really goes down to what the Bible says. And, and it's not about being religious and self-righteous in doing everything in your own strength to try and, uh, you know, make uh, life the best that it can be out of your own strength, but rather to learn how to live a fulfilled life in Christ through the Bible. And that is more of a blessed life. That is a life when you live for Jesus, because whatever you do, you're either doing it for God or you're not doing it for God. And if you're not doing it for God, you're doing it for this world, which is run by Satan or not completely taken over by. But the Bible says in, I think it's 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4, that uh, Satan has been named as the God of this age, the God of this time, where that's why he is prowling around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But greater is God in us than he that is in the world. So, of course, God has called us to be kings and priests and rule and reign on this earth. But if we have any attachment to uh, Satan's kingdom, if we have any attachment to this world and the worldly ways and the ways of man, then we cannot partake in the benefits of living as a Christian with regards to being on fire for God, with regards to being blessed and fulfilled in Christ. So that's why we do have to make certain changes in our life. And by all means, I cannot point any fingers. I myself have sinned and fallen short to the glory of God as we all have. But we need to understand the path forward on what path that is. And that is the path of righteousness that God has called us to. And it's not an easy one. We do have to get out of our comfort zone because the flesh is weak. The flesh always wants to do this and wants to do that. The flesh always wants to justify this and justify that. But we are not called to live by the flesh but to live by the Spirit of God, to live by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So yeah, praise God. I hope that helps. Um, yes, I'll add your request to my prayer list. Thank you, Lisa, for that. I appreciate that. Can you please explain John 16, 33? Don't understand. Okay, yeah, uh, sure. Six, uh, John 16, 33. Um, these things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So, this is a fact. I mean, we all will go through tribulations. We all will go through certain uh, suffering, certain discomforts in this time of our life on earth, such as persecutions, you know, and also just struggles in life, whether it's financial struggle, whether it's a, a battle with your spiritual life. Maybe you're going through spiritual attacks. You know, that's part of the tribulations, I believe, in a way. Um, you know, in this life, you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. Jesus has overcome the world. So be of, be of good cheer means that regardless of the tribulation, it's not greater. The problem or the suffering that you're going through is not... Uh, more powerful than Jesus inside of you because Jesus has overcome the world. We have access to be of good cheer. That is why Jesus teaches us to be of good cheer, even in even through the tribulations of life. So, yeah, I hope that helps. How do we know God exists? Oh, don't get me started on this topic. I have really a lot to say about the reason why God exists, but the reason why God exists is not based on physical evidence that, that one believes in God. We don't effectively uh, 
uh, be transformed by the renewing of our minds by physical evidence. It is by faith. You see, it is by faith. Uh, so by grace, through faith, we are saved. And I hope I'm saying that the right way. I feel like I keep on forgetting how it is by grace, through faith, or by faith, through grace. I think it's by grace, through faith. Because the the, the fact is that Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh, what Jesus says is that blessed are those who believe and do not see. Because there was a guy by the name of Thomas who's known as Doubting Thomas. He didn't believe that Jesus was alive, that Jesus rose from the dead. He was doubting Jesus, even though I believe he could have been a disciple of Jesus. But um, he said that he will not believe that Jesus has risen from the dead until he sees him face to face, until he puts his fingers, uh, until he puts his finger where the marks of Jesus were, where they pierced him or where they um, nailed him uh, to the cross. So uh, doubting Thomas didn't believe until he saw, but then Jesus said, blessed are those who believe and do not see. So, of course, um, sometimes for some people, it takes a lot for them to believe in God because they so stubborn in their heart that they, they don't actually want God to exist because of everything they enjoy doing. And they're too scared to go down that, that I was going to say rabbit hole, but it's not a rabbit hole, uh, to go down that path on discovering who God is. They find that to be maybe... Uh, quite a scary journey because you have to go through persecution. You have to go through this. You have to go through that. But when you realize the importance of your own salvation, when you realize how much Jesus loves you, you will drop everything and follow Jesus. And, and nothing else matters in this world but Jesus. And because of that, you don't have any lack. Everything is added to you. As the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. But I do hope that helps. And there's a lot more to say about that though, Joe, there's a lot more to say about that, but I, I appreciate you being on the live, you know, Maureen with that lovely cap gift there. Thank you, Maureen for that TikTok cap gift there. God bless you. Good evening, minister of journaling. Welcome to the live. Great to have you. I think I need prayer partners. Uh, Mama Country, welcome to the live. If you do need any prayer in specific, though, uh, you can always just put that in the chat. We live every single night. Um, so, uh, Gabe, with all due respect, man, I, I love you with the love of Christ, brother. And I really, truly care for your soul. I want the best for you. And I want the best for every person, really, because, uh, you know, we, we all need a savvy. We all need Jesus. And um, God, God doesn't... Uh, you know, listen to us making up rules. God doesn't uh, go against his rules that he made. God doesn't go against his law, against his word, right? So God is not a man that should lie, of course. And everything that God says is yes and amen. In other words, all God's promises are yes and amen. So um, it's not about really you know, what society thinks or what the year is that, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's 2023 now, people can do what they want and love is love. But it really goes down to what is the ultimate truth because that is what sets you free. You see, if you discover truth that is temporal, that was made up by man, that does not come from God, then it's not reliable. It's actually causing you to go down a wrong path path to go down the path to destruction and that's really what I want to prevent you from because in the flesh you don't want to give up a certain sin in the flesh you are holding on to a certain sin and you're not wanting to repent because you love that sin too much and really what it takes to be saved is to give up your life for Jesus confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead it's not only just the prayer it's a life you choose to live, to to take up your cross daily and follow Christ, denying yourself. So that's just you know the the price it 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 takes to uh, live in freedom, of course. But though, don't get it mixed up with the fact that 
Uh, salvation is a free gift. Thank you, Maureen, for the TikTok. So salvation is not earned. You cannot earn salvation by doing good works or by anything. Your salvation is given to you as a free gift because you have accepted it. Now, the way we choose to live determines really if we made that choice to be true or not. Did we really choose Jesus or not? That, de that determines how we live. You see, the Bible says that uh, people will know you by your fruit. So what is your fruit? For, for example, if you dedicate yourself to working for a boss and you sign a contract and you say, I'm willing to work for this person for a period of two years and you sign a contract for two years that you will be the employee of this employer and you by some uh, way break the contract and stop working for the guy after one year so you break the contract so now now you want to receive the benefits of the salary but you are not working for the guy and you've broken the contract. So in other words, why should God allow us into heaven, even though we gave our life to him? Why should he allow us into heaven if we continue to live the rest of our lives on earth in sin and the way we want it to? So you see, so that's really the point of it all. When we give our lives to Christ, we make a choice to live for him and to live in the fear of God, to go through the tribulations, go through the persecutions, whatever it takes. And God says to us, even though we go through these troublesome times in our lives, these tribulations, these testing, these trials in our life, be of good cheer. Jesus has overcome the world. So at the end of the day, it's all about Jesus and his word and what he teaches us through his word. So we either do as the word of God or not. And I'm preaching to myself tonight. Don't get me wrong. I have to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling as we all have to. But this is the this is the point. We have to not be weak in our lives, guys. The flesh is weak. All the flesh wants to do is be satisfied. All the flesh wants to do is uh, be filled with uh, the lusts of this world, the lusts and the, the desires of the flesh. And, and, and if we continually... Uh, uh, fill those desires, it will never be fulfilled. So there will be more and more and more. So eventually we've got to make a choice and we've got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, denying ourselves, taking up our cross daily and following Christ, which is not an easy thing. But you have it in you. God has given you the strength and the power to get through life God's grace is sufficient for you. So it's not too hard for anyone to live for Jesus, to live a life of righteousness for Christ. It's not impossible to live a sin-free life. Of course, we are human beings uh, and we make mistakes. You know, the Bible even says the righteous fall seven times. You know, but you've got to always just get back up, come back to God with reverent fear. Fear the Lord. Amen. So this is it, guys. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. I uh, appreciate everyone joining in tonight and listening in. And all glory to God. I just really care for your guys' soul. I care for every, each and every one of your guys' uh, future because it is important to take these matters seriously. You see, um, if we understand that there is heaven to gain, that we are not to lay up ourselves treasures on earth and waste our time with everything involved with the rat race and everything involved with the whole system of the world, but rather separate ourselves from the world. Get to know who God is. Get to know him and he will reveal to you your purpose on the, on the earth. And through the Holy Spirit, you will be guided into all truth. And the truth will set you free and you will live a life being blessed being fulfilled, being free. And that is God's plan for our lives, guys. Amen. Praise the Holy Spirit. And yeah, sorry, guys, I can't read all the comments. I, I'm going to be heading out pretty soon. Unfortunately, guys, I've got to wake up very early tomorrow morning. So I'm going to 
I'm going to leave you guys with a prayer in a moment, and then I'm going to end the live. Um, really hate to make it short tonight, guys, but yeah, we're going to be back again tomorrow night, though, for more Bible reading. So be sure to join if you want to join tomorrow night again uh, for more Bible reading and more discussions and, and all that. And somewhere around 8 and 9 p.m. I'll be live. I really like to start at 8 p.m., but sometimes things prevent me from... Uh, doing so but uh, it depends we'll just see how that night goes sorry guys i can't read all the comments but uh, yeah welcome to the live Ewan. Uh, let me check what you are saying brother uh i've been told i can uh defo stop wearing my metal retainers 24 7 by christmas now i don't know about you Yuan, but that sounds like a lovely christmas gift <laughs> even though it's not technically a gift it's definitely nice that you can stop wearing those retainers from christmas i know the journey that you've been uh talking about regarding your teeth so glad to hear that man uh without the holy spirit in you won't you won't be able to say that jesus is lord exactly but we need yeah we need the holy spirit in our lives to be saved and to yeah and always capitalize s and h for holy spirit indeed amen praise god uh yeah glory to god juliet uh why do we never question if satan is real but we do question if god is real that satan's work yeah and of course those who, be who don't believe in god also perhaps don't believe in satan but the thing is um, you know, God is real, Satan is real, and you have a soul, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, regardless of whatever man says, God gave you a soul with your will, with your mind and your emotions. You are not just a physical body. When you pass on, when you die, you will still have existence for eternity. And that's determined on how you love your life, really what you choose to believe in on earth, who you choose to serve on the earth determines where you will spend eternity. No, no amount of good works that you can do on the earth can set you a spot in heaven. That's not, that's not how it works. Salvation is not bought. Salvation is not earned. So you can be a good person all you want, but good people don't make it to heaven believers do of course that's a very popular saying that you might heard before might have heard it before but yeah anyway god loves you all guys okay i appreciate you joining let me pray for you before i end the love um theism welcome back to the love i appreciate you being in the love and i know you uh perhaps don't believe in god or whatever but listen god loves you and you still have hope that is the main thing is that you're still breathing you still have hope because i'm telling you when you breathe you're lost what is going to happen then? That is when you need to take these times seriously. Don't stand before Jesus one day regretting that you didn't receive him on earth when you still had a chance. That's all I'm saying. We have to take this seriously. Okay, let's pray. Father God, I pray over every person watching this uh, live right now, Lord, that you just pour out your love upon their lives, especially those who don't believe in you, Lord. I just pray that you'd reveal yourself to them, Lord. Reveal yourself in a way that they'll receive an opportunity to receive you, that you would open their hearts and have grace on their soul, Father God, that you would show them the truth and that they would be set free. I pray for their hearts. I pray for salvation to come to them, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would show them your love. And I thank you, Father God, for your peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So we ask you, Lord, for your peace to be poured out upon us tonight. And I pray for your blood, Lord, to cover this love, to cover each and every each and every one of us, Father God. And we give you, Lord, all the glory, praise and honor in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. God bless you all. I'm sorry that I have to shorten the live tonight, um, but we'll be back again tomorrow night. We'll be on probably for longer tomorrow night, but God loves you all. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow, tomorrow night. So be blessed in Jesus name. And God loves you. God is real. The, really, I, you have to, you have to experience God for yourself. Really, it's, it really takes you choosing to discover who God is by humbling yourself before God, repenting of your sin and discovering who God is. Then you'll, you'll experience who God is. God is, 
hidden from those who think themselves so wise and clever. God is hidden. The truth is hidden from those who choose not to believe in God. That is why you ask for proof is because you're an unbeliever. If you're an unbeliever, you are you literally have a flat brick wall in front of you between you and the truth. Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4, I think it is, that Satan has blinded the minds of unbelievers. So you are under the influence of the enemy of God if you are an unbeliever. So I want to really challenge you to ask God that if he is real, that he would reveal himself to you. I challenge you to do that, not to say that I'm right. I don't care about myself being right or not. It's beside the point. What is the point is that the word of God has been given to us as a blessing from God, as a warning from God, as an instruction manual from God, so that we can be saved and know the truth, be set free, live for God, and live with him for eternity. That is his plan. He wants us to go back to him. He wants us to be his children and he wants himself to be a father. He wants he wants to us to see him as our true father. Think about it. This time on earth is very short. Don't waste it. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you all next time. And God bless you, Eliska. I pray for peace of your grandma's mind and for her health i pray for you uh, for her health to be restored in jesus name amen god bless you Eliska. sorry i may have missed certain other prayer requests guys I do apologize but i need to go for now i'll see you guys tomorrow night again much love peace out and god bless